I am so sorry your family had been put through this hardship due to your daughter's lack of faith and judgment. But I do believe I have a good solution that will help you with this problem. What do you suggest? We are desperate for anything at this point. There is a group home located about an hour away that caters to these specific types of situations. Our faith is a big supporter of it. They specialize dealing with troubled teens like Samantha Joe. I can have them reach out if you are interested. That sounds perfect. If you could get us in contact with them, we would be very appreciative. I would suggest not doing the test though, if she continues to refuse. If she is unwilling, she could cause major problems for you beyond a pregnancy. But this group home can set her straight. They have a very high success rate at adoptions in teen pregnancy. I am not giving my baby up for adoption. That's my choice. Nobody can force me to do that. Little girl, if you want a place to stay and food in your mouth, you will do exactly what we tell you. Sweetheart, nobody is forcing you to do anything. We are trying so hard to help you choose the right path. You are not capable of raising a baby, especially not on your own. This is what is best for the baby. I am what is best for the baby. I am going to be their mother, and I will be the best mother possible. At least I will be a better parent than the two of you. Watch your mouth, Samantha Joe. We have given you everything, and you continually spit in our faces and disobey everything we tell you. You stray farther from God and paradise every day. And you sit here and hear this and think that I am safe and loved in this home? You clearly are not very good at your job. I see two faithful parents who are at a loss with their troubled teen daughter. Jody, I will make sure to get you that number immediately. You should hear from me within the next 24 hours with more information. We thank you so much. I knew if I had faith and prayed enough that our father would send someone with the answer to our problem. I don't know how I could ever repay you for your kindness. Samantha Joe, one day when you grow and are more mature, you will understand that your mother and I are doing what we must to save your eternal soul. Our earthly bodies mean nothing when your soul is damned to he 11. Sweetheart, wake up. It's time to go get in the car. Where are we going? I thought you were making me stay inside until the baby is here. Yes, but this is important. This is an exception. Just please go and get in the car. I'm not going to that group home if that's what this is. I told you guys the other day that I refuse. It's not happening. No, honey, we are taking you to a doctor to check on the baby. Okay, so let's go. I don't believe you. You said I wasn't going to see a doctor at all. Why are you suddenly changing your mind? Your mother is being too nice with you. It seems like you actually think that you have a choice. Get your butt up and get in the car or I will pick you up and drag you to the car. Now. Can I at least get dressed or something? I'm about to slap that smart mouth. I told you to get up and get in the car. I expect you in the garage within five minutes or I will be back up here to bring you down myself. Okay, fine. I'll be down in a minute. I just need to use the bathroom. It took you long enough. I thought you would be a little faster about finally getting to go see the baby at the doctor. I'm sorry. I had to use the bathroom. I am excited. Thank you both for letting me do this. 
I just want to make sure the baby is okay. And we want to make sure our child is going to be okay. This is the best way to do that. You'll see. What doctor are you taking me to? I've never been to an Opgin before. Do you think I'm far enough along to get an abdominal ultrasound or will it have to be internal? It's a doctor out of town. We wanted to make sure that we didn't run into anyone we knew there. And I'm not sure it depends in the doctor. Just be quiet and wait until we get there. Wait a minute, this isn't a doctor's office. You guys lied to me. Where are we? I'm not getting out of this car until you tell me. You said you weren't taking me to the home. You lied to me. You said you were taking me to the doctor. There is a doctor here. They will be taking very good care of you during this time, and you will get all the prenatal care you need. And then after the baby is born and in a good home, you can come back home and move on with your life. I'm not giving up my baby. And I'm not ever coming back to your home. I hate you both. Get out of the car, Samantha Joe, and act like you have had some type of home training. You are embarrassing this family with this outburst. No, I'm not staying here. You can't make me. Take me back to the house and I'll get my stuff and leave. You'll never have to see me again. Sweetie, don't be so stubborn. You will be very happy here. There are plenty of other girls here in similar situations that you can share the word with. Maybe this is why the Lord allowed this to happen. Spread the gospel to those who are lost. The word that told you to let my ex kill my baby and maybe me? Nobody needs to hear that. I am not staying here. Get out of this car or I will remove you from this car. This is not up for debate. You are a minor and we have already signed you up. You will be staying here. Now go. You are a monster. You should have never been a father. You are so cruel. Don't try to pull the poor pity you card. You have put yourself in this situation by whoring yourself out to who knows. You have shamed the family and single-handedly ruined your life. We are trying to fix it. If I'm a whore, then so is Darren. But nobody wants to put any blame on him, just me. I didn't get myself pregnant all on my own, you know? It takes two people. You watch your tongue when you speak to me. I have warned you multiple times that you are not to speak all of the only man who has tried to actually help you in this situation. Until you fix the sins you have committed, you are no longer my child. Now get out of my car. Fine, then you are no longer my father either. I honestly hope I never see you again. Well, hello, Samantha Joe. Welcome to Group Home. We are so excited to have you. We have a few things to do right off the bat. And then we are going to take you down to the clinic we work with for your very first prenatal visit. Are you excited? I don't want to be here. Can't I just check myself out and leave? Of course not, sweetheart. You are a minor and your parents want you here, so here you must stay. But I promise you, if you keep your heart and mind open, then we will have a wonderful time together. I'm not giving up my baby for adoption. This is my baby. I want to raise it myself. Let's not worry about that part today. We can discuss it when we have your individual counseling sessions. But just sit a spell while I finish your intake paperwork, and then we will head out.
And who do we have here? This is a new face. This is our new guest, Samantha Jo. She will be staying with us for the duration of her pregnancy and postpartum period. We just need a quick once over so we can find out exactly how far along she is and some blood work to check that everything is going smoothly. We sure can do that. Samantha, can you tell me when you had your last monthly cycle? I don't remember the exact date, but I know I've missed three periods at this point. TSKTSK. That's an important thing to remember. How do you expect to care for an infant if you can't even remember such an important date? Anyways, let's just get you laid back and we can perform your ultrasound. If you've skipped three month lies at this point, you should be over weeks, so an external ultrasound should be fine. Not that you would mind an internal probe, apparently. And look right there. There is the little baby. You're measuring to be about 12 weeks at this point. There's the heart beating. Everything looks good. Can you print me out a picture, please? Nonsense. You don't need to be hanging on to that. I'll give one to your counselor for your file, though. This baby will make some lucky couple very happy. I'll see you back in about four weeks. Thank you, doctor. See you soon. Hello, Samantha. My name is Sister Lacey, and I am assigned to be your counselor for the duration of your stay with us. How are you feeling? I don't want to talk. I don't need a counselor. My parents need a counselor. I just want to get out of here. Well, let's touch on that. Why do you think your parents need counseling? Really? Look at where I am. If my parents actually cared about me more than they cared about their appearances in the church, they would have supported me even though I messed up. But they sent me away and believe him over me. Samantha, your parents are not perfect people. They love you very much and are doing what is best for you. That is all they can do in the situation they are in. They didn't have to be perfect. They just had to love me and they didn't. My own father hit me and told me I wasn't his child anymore. That's not love. I understand your emotions are heightened right now due to the pregnancy. But I truly believe that when you are through this chapter you will look back and realize everyone did what they could to help you. You don't understand. I'm not even surprised anymore. Can I just go to my room? I will dismiss you in a minute. First, I would like for you to look through this binder of couples looking to adopt. It is a rather long process, so it's best we start now instead of waiting until the baby is almost here. My baby isn't going to be adopted. I am keeping my baby. Do you truly believe that is what's best for the child? You are 16 and have no education, job prospects, or home of your own. What kind of life would you be giving that child? I will figure it out. But I will not be putting my baby up for adoption. I did research before coming here. I know there are programs I qualify for that will help me get on my feet. And in the meantime, your baby will struggle along with you. Why not allow them to have a life that God intends for them? Sometimes adoption is God's plan in these unfortunate situations. They will be with me. They will be loved and happy. And they will have everything they need. I will figure everything else out. Well, you can go back to your room. Take the binder with you. I expect you to pick out at least five couples before your next session with me. You have disappointed your parents and the Lord enough in the past few weeks. Let's... Hi there, Samantha. Did you have a good night? 
You don't have to pretend to care. Honestly, it won't bother me. Well, of course I care. I am here to be your friend and help you through such a tough challenge from our father. I care very much. Okay, so you care because you are being paid to care. Got it. Can we please just drop the act? Say what you want to say and then I can go back to my room. Well, my goodness. I read in your file that you were quite the challenge, but I didn't think you would still be so ornery after a month. I have to keep up my good reputation. Can I go now? Well, hold on, Miss Sassy. I see in your notes that you go for your next ultrasound tomorrow at the clinic. Are you excited? You're a little over 16 weeks. You may find out the gender tomorrow. Yep. Super excited for Dr. Creep to look me up and down and make more nasty comments about me. Cannot wait. That's just locker room talk. Boys will be boys, you know. And being pregnant and in your situation, you have put yourself in a situation where he is aware that you are open to that kind of connection without being married. You can't be too surprised that it distracts him. He's a man. Whatever you say. Have you had a chance to look through the binder at the choices I narrowed down for you? We are close to halfway through your pregnancy and we really must get this show on the road. We normally start meeting with potential couples after we know the gender. I am not giving my baby up for adoption. I've already said this. Samantha, you are being led from the Lord's path for you. He allowed you to stray onto this path in order to bless another family with a baby. This is the journey he chose for you. Do you not feel this calling? They can adopt someone else's baby. My baby is mine, and that is final. I wish you would take this more seriously, Samantha. The Lord's will is not something to scoff at. I will continue to narrow down the couples, and we can pick a day for you to interview the parents with me next time you are in. You will see that this is the right path soon. Eventually you will understand that the Lord always gets what He demands. His plan is absolute.